Hi guys, happy Halloween. Uh, this is obviously my She Devil makeup tutorial. As you can see, the brows on this are actually better than my real brows. I'm really jealous. Um, if you want to see how I did this, then obviously please keep watching. Um, this is a really fun and easy look to do. Um, it really doesn't cost a lot. So far it's cost me £3, maybe about £3 in order to sort of buy things extra that I don't already have. Um, you could easily do this for like a guy's makeup tutorial as well. All you really need is kind of like some black eyeshadow. Um some really good like red face paint, some water which I'm sure all of you can manage, glue sticks um, if you're going to do a girly one and other things like that. It's really easy to do. Um, oh! <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't really know to be honest. But yeah, if you want to um, sort of learn how to do this, please keep watching. Um, I'm just going to keep just I can't stop painting my face I don't know why anyway please keep watching this um, and don't forget to don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Bonnie B vlogs on Instagram as well thanks so I'm going to get started the two things that you'll need besides your normal um, everyday makeup kit first thing is this face paint by Snazzery this one is in bright red I don't know if you can see that. And I'm also using like a craft print stick. This is just from like a 99p store. So I've already moisturised my face. The first thing I'm going to do is take that print stick. And really strange, you might have seen a few people do this before. I'm going to print my brows down. And you'll see why I'm doing that a bit later on. I thought I'd do a different video where I talk through things. Um, just because it's a lot easier to listen than it is to sort of read like a load of um, a load of like sort of scriptions down the bottom scriptions words whatever. Um, I'm also gluing the eyebrows up. You can see they're very pointy because I've glued them up so that they don't um, poke out of the look and you won't be able to see them. So just keep running the stick through. It's going to feel a, a bit weird bit weird to start with but don't worry too much obviously you might get some tacky bits of glue so just sort of bring them out of the way with your fingers I'm filming really far away so that you can see like my whole face um, so I'm going to take a damp um, kabuki sort of face brush whatever brush you want to use you could use a sponge but I prefer to use a brush with these products so take your snazzery snazzery I sound really Australian then Peel off the protective layer that comes with it and dampen up your brush with some water and you want to go into the paint with the brush and it should become nice and painty. I'm not going to use words that I don't like using um, and then I'm basically just dabbing the bright red all over my face as if it were foundation and I am doing my neck today because this is going to be like a proper Halloween look so take the snazzery snazzery <laughs> just imagine I'm going to be wearing a turtle neck because I don't want to spend all night doing my whole neck and my chest and everything just for this because I'm not going out it's not Halloween yet it's not Halloween for two weeks I'm deliberately missing my ear and I'll tell you why in another video. I've had another piercing done, I've had a gill piercing and it's still healing so I don't really want to go putting a load of face paint on it. Do on go on to the lips because we're going to do those after. Just make sure it's nice and like opaque red, does that make sense? You may need to keep dampening your brush to use the product but that's fine go absolutely everywhere that you can with this I'm going to be having a shower after so I'm not really too fussed about being bright red for work tomorrow and again go over the tops of the brows if you can I really didn't think that my eyebrows would show through I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest I honestly thought that my brows would be covered up by this but we'll work on that, we'll do something that's not a problem. 
you don't want the brush too wet or the product comes out really watery so just make sure that you've got quite a lot of ah I know what I did wrong I didn't conceal my eyebrows I should have concealed them first if this product dries nicely I might have a go at doing them again after but for now I'm just painting the face obviously you want to get everywhere nice coverage thick and red I feel completely mental doing this my partner's gonna get home but like what the hell <laughs> I've also got a nose stud so I'm trying not to get paint in there anywhere you don't really want any skin showing if that makes sense I look completely mental uh, it's all for Halloween. That's what I'm going to keep telling myself. It's for you guys as well. Because you want to see stuff like this. I hope you do. Otherwise I'm wasting my time. <laughs> Getting red. Getting red. So yeah. Just sort of. If you're going to be going out. You're going to want to leave enough time to do this all over. But obviously. I'm not. So. I'm going to try and keep this video nice and short as well. The reason I'm actually doing this video is to get a bit of practice in because my partner every year has competitions at his work. And last year I painted him half skull and I turned him into a pirate. And this year he wants to go to the devil. So I said I would get some snazzaroo in and have a go at obviously doing said makeup look um he did win last year he won because of me um so this year he's like no you have to do my makeup you have to do it. oh that was really weird like over my eyes okay right next thing you're going to take um i'm using a translucent powder i'm actually using the eyes lips face one that i did in my haul video a couple of days ago Oh shit, I've got paint on there. Um, so it's white. Hopefully, this won't turn me pink. To be honest, it's transparent, so it shouldn't, um, which is why I think it's going to be perfect for this. But obviously, I could be really, really wrong. So here goes nothing. No, it seems to be, it seems to be fine. I'm putting that over the top of my whole face because I haven't got time to sit and dry off. And as you can see, yes, it's turning my brush red, but it is actually. It is working. So I'm using this over the whole face. If you're going to be going out too, I recommend using hairspray to secure all the makeup in place. That's gone really white. It shouldn't go white. There you go, brush it away. It's come out really white on the camera, but real life it's not that bad. It's really strange. Hmm. We'll see. I'll do the rest of the look and see what happens. Obviously, I'm not worrying too much. I just don't want to be wet, I think, is the main, main aim. Okay. So, that was easy. No primer or concealer. <laughs> right, so I've done that. Now, I'm going to begin my contour. And this is the most important part. So, if I get this wrong, I've ruined the whole look. Where is, where is, is, is my black pigment? Is that it? I'm using Barry M pigments because they're quite cheap. Yes, it is. I'm also taking a Real Techniques. This is actually a contour brush. Real Techniques contour brush. And I'm going to begin my very gaunt. Do you want it quite gaunt? It's supposed to be quite an evil look, isn't it? If you're going to be the devil, you can't really get much more evil than the devil. I'm assuming the devil contours in black. You can go over the top with this because obviously it's quite a showy look, isn't it? Halloween makeup's going to be quite showy. So I'm just sort of going as over the top as I can. I might actually take that brush that I used for my powder to kind of 
blend it a little bit. I'm going along the jawline as well. Like that. Quite dark, isn't it? Mm. Maybe should have done a bit less, but it's fine. Again, this is what I'm like off cam. Well, on camera, but when I'm not talking to you, I'm literally just making up as I go along. I don't really plan out makeup looks. If I'm honest with you, I d I do I plan them out a little bit in my head, but I prefer just to get on and do it. So I find it a lot more fun that way. You can see I'm kind of curving round on the cheek. A little bit there. And I'm going to do the same on my temples. But instead of doing what I do, which is here, I'm going to really emphasize, emphasize, emphasize that kind of horrible the evil devilish look so you want to sweep inwards with this one I really should have gone up to my hairline seeing as I'm having a shower tonight anyway it doesn't really matter um, so I might just quickly go back that snazzery <laughs> and do my hairline because it doesn't matter I'm having a shower. I don't really recommend going to work the next day and not washing after something like this. <laughs> so I'm taking that brush again and do the same side. Quite evil. I'm starting to look like that guy out of Star Wars. I can't remember what his name is. Please don't slate me for that. I'm not actually a Star Wars fan. Um, I don't know what his name is. Okay. Going back into that pigment with a smaller brush. This is like an eyeshadow brush, slanted one. And I'm going to try and be clever and contour my nose into a bit of a point. Because I want to look evil. You probably can't. Oh, I suppose you can a little bit. I like to think if the devil was a lady, she'd be very classy and she would remember to contour. Oh. Cut that up. <laughs> These are all the bits that you don't see because I fast forward a lot of my stuff on camera. Looking pretty evil. Now I'm starting to make the eyes a bit more like hooded and sunken. To be fair, there's probably a lot of you out there that are better at contour than I am. So, wherever you would normally put contour to make someone look old, gaunt, scary, etc. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist doing that. Um, do feel free to just kind of do yours where necessary. This is just like my depiction. Depiction, I keep making weird words up today. This is my sort of take on it. 
looking very she devilly. The brows didn't go exactly to plan, but I've got a backup plan, so it's not a problem. I'm going to take my beloved eyeliner brush by MAC, and this is 209. It's a MAC 209, and I'm going to have to use Black Truck. Find it where it is the black track, black track um, gel liner. My hands are filthy. And I'm going to do some really high and kind of like scary brows. Really high and I'm going to really bring my arch down and they're going to be very bold and very unnatural. So as you can see there, that is the first brow done. I'm starting to look quite scary actually. I'm scaring myself. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm sorry if you guys can't really see this. But I have to be on a certain angle to do my brows. My brows probably take the longest out of anything in my makeup routine in the morning. But obviously I don't go to work like this, so... Pretty cool if I did actually, it could scare a few people. That's why I like Halloween so much. So I'm just curving that brow around. Oh, that one went a little bit higher, that's good. It looks like I've got some expression going on. Brow game strong, bitch. So, these are my devilish brows. I'm liking it so far. <sighs> okay, now I'm going to go in and attempt to do some sort of eye makeup. I'm not really sure where I'm going to go with this, to be honest, because it's quite dark already. But if she was a she devil, I do think she would have makeup. I'm just going to kind of make it up as I go along, so... Do you think that's not a bad show? I'm going back in with that stuff. Black stuff. There we go. What would the devil wear as a lid colour? God knows. God only knows. I'm thinking she'd probably wear black, so let's take that contour brush. Oh yeah, I like that. going awfully quiet because I'm concentrating so sorry about that in advance it's crazy I've got absolutely no expression on my face I'm completely express expre Expressionist underneath this makeup, yeah, I look like a total nut job. So I'm gonna take this shade stick in Cake Shop. It's by Mac. It's one of the older ones. And I'm gonna take it across the lid. 
in the hope that I can kind of use it as a base for some sparkliness. like that actually and then I'm going to take a short shadow brush I'm going to use two colours I'm going to use kind of like a minky brown I can't show you the part but I'll put it on minky brown for my inner corner it's like a glitter you kind of want a bit of personality to it Starting to look like a Disney villain actually, which I quite like. So I've done that and now I'm going to apply you know what else? I've got a glittery black from Barry M as well. I'm not really sure. Number 24. Don't know if that's the right one. I might have got all the pops mixed up. But anyway, it's a sparkly black. I'm just kind of blending it into my outer corner and into that crease. Yeah, like that. Looks good. We like that. Which is good because this corner I did was really untidy. So that is done. Um, what now? I think I might add a little bit of some of that dark black colour again, but under my lids. But I don't know where I put it. I put it down somewhere. I'm not 100% sure where it is. Oh, I'm going to go back and do some black track instead because I've obviously misplaced that. Again, some matte black track on the liner brush. Um, I'm doing my lower lash line. In the liner. And of course my waterline as well. That's got to be done. This is Halloween, this is Halloween. Right. So I've done the eyes, they're looking pretty evil to be honest um, and of course I'm going to add some black lashes but before I do that actually let's get this bit done taking same brush same thing I'm going to do the lips obviously we're going to do the lips black how could you not but because it's a look I can really play around with them and make them look kind of like scary I don't know how do you make it look scary not really sure to be honest but but hey I've curved them up 
at the at the kind of corners. As you can see they're looking pretty evil and then I'm going to do quite an exaggerated bottom lip so I'm going to again look at what Oh shit, yeah. Forgot about that. I got my lip pierced and um, this week and I've taken it out and I've just literally painted over the wound. <laughs> I've to get some disinfectant on that just in case. Not really sure about that lip shape, I might round it off a bit at the bottom. Right, finally done the lip shape. I think I'm happy with that. Looks pretty evil anyway. That's the whole point. <laughs> so, clean off my brush because I can't stand it when I leave it and it goes bad. Um, what next? I think. If I remember rightly, I've got my Using MAC lipstick in Rebel. Got a dark red. And it's not made a difference and ruined my lipstick. You can't even see that. Okay. I honestly thought that that liner would dry quicker and I could put some Rebel through the middle and make it ombre, but obviously not. Okay, right, scrap that. Lashes. Okay. I'm going to need some tweezers, but I don't know what they are. In all fairness, I'm probably going to go off camera to do my tweezers because I can't stand um, doing lashes on cams. So I'm wondering which ones to use. I've got three. They're all quite thick. There's Alia, a Razzle Dazzle, or Attraction. I think I'm going to go for these ones, the Razzle Dazzle, because they are bigger on the outer corner, but they're also quite long, and they're probably able to make that. So... That's it so far. I'm going to go off camera, do the lashes and come back. So I'm back. As you probably guessed, I had a bit of a malfunction with my lashes. For some reason, the glue is just not sticking. Yes, I've waited for it to go tacky. It's just a cheap, tiny little tube that came with a box. I should have just bought some proper glue. Um, so I'm just going to apply some mascara instead. But normally for this look, I would wear falsies. But mascara is just going to have to do. I 
I'm going to add some final mental touches to the look. So, I know obviously I'm supposed to be the devil and whatnot, but I think even the devil would wear contour. So I'm taking NARS Albatross on a brush and I'm running that contour down my nose, my cupid bow. I'm actually going to put a little bit on the lid. Uh, lip, sorry. Just in the middle. Just to kind of make them look like 3D. Because at the moment they just look really flat. There we go, that's better. It's more evil. And I'm actually going to contour the top of the brow. Brow? Cheekbone as well. It's unbelievable what little touches can kind of make such a difference. And that cheekbone. Above the brow bone, I think it needs doing. Above that brow bone. And there we have it. I think that's finally finished. Obviously, choose your Halloween outfit accordingly. Perhaps go for. I look absolutely grotesque. And um, perhaps go for um, quite a like a black dress or something. But yeah, so there's the finished look. From there, it looks awful. From what, if I sit here, it's quite cool. Another thing you could do as well, which I recommend, is if you can get hold of some horns and some spirit gum, just use a gel liner really carefully. And say you've stuck your horn on, just use kind of like a dry brush kind of going away almost like you're painting a flower but you're not if that makes sense sort of coming away I mean you could do that to sort of show that you've had your horns maybe snapped off or taken from me I don't know I'm just kind of making this shit up as I go along Oh, that kind of looks better doesn't it so obviously you could do like a guy's version which is what I'm going to do for my fiance um, I'm going to do quite like an exaggerated evil goatee um, again I'll do the same brows but obviously more masculine but yeah that's it and all it really took extra on top of what I've already got at home was a Pritt stick and some snazzery paint so it's quite easy to do I hope you've enjoyed watching me get red in the face um, I really want to wait for him to get home so I can sort of show him what it all looks like but I don't really want to freak him out just as he walks through the door so I'll probably take a few pictures and stuff so we can see it. Um, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway on my Instagram which I've, I've been saying for ages um, guys, really I have. Um, I've been saying that I want to do a giveaway but no one's really... Um, reposted the post that I um, put up. So obviously if you want me to do a giveaway then you can't, you need to do that you need to sort of respond to me in some sort of way um i can throw in some fake lashes obviously get your own glue because that glue is just awful um i'm, I'm going to throw away some throw away throw in some elf in there as well including if i can find it to show you including 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 where has that gone oh here we go the all over colour sticks, especially this one, which is in persimmon. I'll show you on the back of my hand. If you can see there. They're really nice anyway. That's really weird. The brows even frowned. With them, I didn't expect them to do that. Um, they're really nice smelling as well. So I'm going to throw these in as well. Um, I may even purchase some snazzeries and chuck in for kind of like a Halloween giveaway. Um, it depends what you guys want really. Comment below what kind of giveaways you want me to do. Um, obviously, give me a thumbs up for this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Any requests for any other videos like this, I'd be more than happy to do for you. Any reviews, tutorials, stuff like that. But yeah, I've really enjoyed this one. I'm definitely quite prepared for what I'm going to do um, for my partner when it's his fancy dress at work next week. I'm really not sure about that, the shape of those lips. I kind of wish I'd done them more like, 
I don't know, it's supposed to look evil, isn't it? I suppose. If you really wanted to be quite evil with it, you could kind of join up with the mouth there. No, I just ruined that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Unless you know what you're doing with contour, don't do that. I wish I hadn't done that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to go away and edit this one now, and I'm sure you'll hear from me soon. Bye.